So, Milbert, would you please share with us uh, what was your life like before Jesus Christ? And uh, yeah, I was raised in church my whole life, pretty much. My mom actually got baptized here in 1996 when it was El Tabernáculo. So I've known what God does. I've seen his miracles. When I was about eight years old, my father was diagnosed with leukemia in the second degree. According to doctors, my father wasn't supposed to be here today. And I think that was the first time I ever like really accepted God. I was eight years old. And I was baptized in speaking in tongues. My father was actually healed. My father has been in remission for 17 years. But growing up, I always felt kind of unloved and unwanted. I was like bullied a lot in school from first grade up to eighth grade. So I didn't have friends. I relied more on guy friends than girlfriends. I started getting the attention, started feeling love through the wrong things. And I had a child at the age of 17 after my parents divorced. When my father left the house, I tried to fill that void with a child. And it didn't help. I still felt alone and unwanted. I returned to a relationship I started at the age of 14 that was very abusive. I, at that time, I couldn't understand why I'd go back to him, but I always would. He'd abuse me physically and mentally, but yet I was very attached. The last time he abused me, I wasn't in church. I hadn't been in church for about five years. I moved out of my mom's house when I was 18 with my daughter. I tried to go to college. It was just too hard to work full time and raise a child on my own. And I ended up dropping out of school. I pretty much raised her by myself and when I got back with him shortly after the abuse started she saw all of it I had another child with him and the abuse continued but I would always leave and go back even though he had nothing to offer me it was hard just this last time that he abused me he wouldn't stop hitting me and I remember crying out to God I'm like if you still love me make it stop <laughs> and I hadn't spoken in tongues in years and I started speaking in tongues as he repeatedly hit me and he mocked me and said, your God is not real. Your God does not exist. And here comes the door, knock, loud knocks on the door. I had lived in this house for four years. Never once when he touched me or abused me did anyone ever come. But that day, the police showed up. And if it wasn't for them, I don't know if I'd be here. And ever since then, I just felt in my heart that I needed to come back to Christ. I knew that he loved me. I knew that he cared no matter what I had done, no matter what I had been through, that he still loved me. And that's when I just slowly decided to stray, to get away from him. And... I decided to come back to church. Now, um, come on, you guys. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ in his support. Mm -hmm. 
Milbreth. Question. How did you come about this church? Somebody invited you, you saw a clip. How did you come about and what happened at the moment when you came to the church? It was actually something that was like placed in my heart years ago. I used to come here when I was younger with my uncle and he moved away to Texas and I hadn't been back to this church in a while and I would randomly look you guys up on social media, see what you guys were up to. And I just didn't have the courage to come until I reached out to Lorena. She's like a mom to me. And I told her, I'm like, hey, are you going to service? I was like, I'd like to go with you. And she said, yes, I will be there. And I came to service with her. And that same service, I rededicated my life. Come on, you guys. That is so amazing. Now... Would you please share, uh, how has your life now been different since you rededicated your life to Jesus Christ? My life now has been very good. Um, I no longer hate, I pretty much hated myself because of the things that like he would do to me, the things that he would tell me about myself. I really didn't like myself and I've really come to love the person that I am. And... And I also, the only struggle I had were my finances. Being a mom of three kids by myself, maintaining a whole household has been really hard on me. But I've managed. God has never left me. Even though I live paycheck to paycheck, He was there. Um, I decided to go back to school and I obtained two degrees within a year and a half, working full time. Come on, that is awesome. Share with us a financial breakthrough that something that the Lord did in your life through your obedience. Um, I had been looking for a job ever since I graduated. I had interviews after interviews, second interviews, third interviews, and I was not getting anything. Um, three months went by, nothing. I started to kind of pray like, God, like, I need this, like, not for me, but for my kids, like, I'm their supporter, like, I'm all they have. And so I continued to look, and I came across um, Pastor Todd's series called Wait Till I Get My Money Right. And I watched that, and it, the, the part about tithing really touched my heart. And I said, God, how can I give you from what I don't have to give? But I said, fine. I'm going to give you what's yours, and I'm sorry for ever stealing from you. And I decided to start tithing. And after I tithed three times, I was short on bills. But money came from here, money came from there, from such and such person. And I was able to pay my bills. And I just recently got a job. It took seven months of waiting, but this taught me so much patience, patience that I didn't have. It taught me to wait on God, that His timing is perfect. Amen. Come on, guys, let's put our hands together for her one more time. Such a wonderful testimony of God's mercy, of God's goodness, and of God's grace on people's lives. Milbreth, you know, we're so happy for you. We are so happy. She actually comes to my home group. This girl is gold. And we have an, an amazing surprise for her, which she probably has no idea about. And if you please can put your hands together for this wonderful gentleman that... was to dedicate myself to God. And a few months ago, the second best decision I made in my life was to spend my time with you. Milberth, a cord of three strings cannot be broken. And I would like to ask you, in front of everybody here, to marry me.
Thank you guys so much. Thank you for watching this content. I know this was a blessing to you. We would like to ask you to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell on our channel so that each time we upload something, you can be notified. Don't forget to share this content with your friends and family and on social media. We're so thankful to you. Better is not good enough. The best is yet to come.